Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you an on-trend bridal bouquet. The purples are so popular, and this technique is guaranteed to last even in the hottest wedding day. All these beautiful flowers are from FloraAbundance.com. They are so fabulous. And they always come in that way. I love opening up a box and seeing just how carefully packed they are. They've been checked to make sure they're in perfect quality. Then it's my responsibility to take care of them using all the proper care and handling procedures. You can get full details on that on our website, flowerschool.com. But to make it easy, you remove the lower stems, cut them, and place them in a solution with flower food. Now the roses, they come in so tight. You want to do this a few days ahead. And I always use Quick Dip on the roses to make sure that they open fully, then put them in with the solution. The Banda orchids, aren't those amazing? They're so long lasting, and that checkered face is very popular with the patterning. So gorgeous. And it's just quite surprising how sturdy they are. You'll love working with those. The Hydrangea, it too is treated with the Quick Dip. Hydrangea will hold so much better if you fully hydrate it before you work with it. Then let it sit with the flower food and then do your designing. Lastly, the ranunculus, they're so lacy, so feminine. The blousy blossoms, a true favorite of today's brides. The secret to the longevity of this bouquet is using a faux handle. So it gives you the illusion of a hand tie, but it still allows a water source. I start with a length of PVC. It doesn't need to be real long. Cut it down. You can use a PVC cutter. Get that at the hardware store. You ratchet it, and then just keep squeezing. And then you'll have a small piece corsage tape around that to make it green. That way it will hide away beneath the stems. Now go through your garbage or cut down some of the flowers you're going to use and gather stems, just plain bare stems. And those get wrapped around. Kind of tack them together, line them up, I'm going to go all the way around. Then rubber band them securely on. And I rubber band it twice just to be safe. Then one more step. Take a few Galax leaves and place those into that as well so that they will end up combining visually the bouquet to the holder. To finish the illusion, go ahead and ribbon wrap your stems, just as you would a regular bridal bouquet. So I take my ribbon, cut it off, leave myself a bit at the top, and then start wrapping tightly, going around, Coming down, I'm going to go all the way down over the rubber bands, conceal your mechanics, and then come back up. So just wrap again, getting a double layer through there, makes it a little more comfortable for the bride to hang on to. And then when you get back up to the top, just knot those two ends together to secure it in place. The water source for the flowers to keep it alive, even on the hottest days, is a standard Oasis bridal bouquet holder. Now to finish the illusion, you want to spray glue some Galax leaves to the back. Just cut their stems off, and then using the Super 77 3M spray glue, spray them and adhere them directly on. You don't need to worry about the handle, that's going to disappear. Using this technique, you can design with even the thirstiest flowers like hydrangeas. Now, I have to be honest with you, the hydrangea that I bought was blue, and it's gorgeous. But when I put it with the flowers, it was too bold and too bright. So I enhanced it 
You can see it was a blue flower, but using the Design Master just for flowers, I sprayed it, tinted it, and now it matches perfectly. So sometimes you have to help Mother Nature along just a tiny bit. Then to make sure that they hold well, I take the individual florets that I'm going to work with and dip them in alum. Alum is a white powder. You can find it at the pickling section of your grocery store and just set it down into the foam. It comes in a little spice jar. It's alum, A-L-U-M, and it helps the flowers to drink even more so that they hold up well. Again, it's just take the bloom, dip it down into the powder, and then place it into the holder. The roses, that's what I'll do next. Just cutting them down. Their stems are so strong and sturdy, there's no need to wire them. Just place them into the foam, adding that color. Looks delicious. And then the ranunculus. Oh, these are just almost wrong. They're so beautiful. You think they must be an artificial bloom. They're so full and luxurious. Just radiate around, making sure you feel in the top, the bottom, and the sides. The beauty of the Vanda orchid is they're very long lasting without a water source. So you can take each bloom and literally just glue it into place. The glue, use your Oasis foil adhesive. It will adhere tightly, won't come loose, doesn't change in the temperatures, doesn't change if it gets wet. Everything that's positive. So you just take the individual blooms, pluck them off, and then a tiny bit of glue on the stem. Just gluing right on. Let it begin to set. And then determine where you would like it to be. And just take the bouquet Find a spot that looks like it might hold an orchid beautifully, and then tuck the glue right down in, nestling it till it's perfect. The completed bouquet is pretty, but it will be gorgeous once I add the handle. Taking your Oasis Foil Adhesive, glue right on the lip of the PVC pipe so you've got a little bit of glue in there. Doesn't take much. Then just hold the leaves apart and set the bouquet down into the handle. And then the leaves will pop up. And let it dry before you move it around too much. But once the glue sets, it's totally sturdy. They can tip it upside down, sideways, do whatever. And it gives you a beautiful faux hand-tied bridal bouquet. Designing flowers for a wedding is grand fun. It's one of my favorite things to do. Designing flowers for a wedding on a hot day is grandly stressful. That's where it's so important to know all the professional tips and tricks and techniques. First off, know where to get your flowers so that they're fabulous. Floribundance.com is always reliable. Then make sure you hydrate them, take care of them, and know the secret little tricks for providing moisture to the blooms and still having that hand tie look. Now for more creative inspiration, education, if you have questions, you can reach out to us through the website at flowerschool.com. If it's easier, pick up the telephone. We love to chat. It's 503-223-8089. And take a picture. Pop it off to my personal email. It's leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com. I truly love to see what you create. You inspire me, just as I try to inspire you. Or post it on social media. Let us all see, inspire the world. Just hashtag Floral Design Institute. So now it's your turn. What are you going to create? Have fun and do something you love.